Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. The Boxing Bookie returns. We're going to show you how to make money on uh, Friday night Showbox card. Um, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, TexasBoxingScene.com. Texas Boxing Scene will be at this fight. It will be at the Cardenas Pedroza fight on Showtime from Tech Puerto Rico in San Antonio. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Today's a, a big show. Um, we're going to get into 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 Friday's fight. Um, Rafael Pedroza, Ramon Cardenas. A uh, fight with a lot of implications at the 122-pound weight class, the uh, span weight weight class. Um, I've got a line on um, uh, on DraftKings. So we are back using DraftKings. Not that you know any of the other sites are poor. I, I, I just like the uh, the the, uh, the the user interface with uh, DraftKings. That that's why I use it. Um, all right. So. Pedroza is is 26, 5'11. He's tall and he's rangy uh, for a 122. He has a record of 15 and 0. Uh, he had a, a tough fight with Yerni Betancourt in his last fight. And before that, um, he, he uh, outclassed uh, Hugo Berrio. Um, and he's got a win over Hector Sosa. Uh, outside of that, that's basically his resume. Uh, he's 15 and 0. 11 knockouts. Uh, he's not fought in the U.S., I don't think. Uh, you can get some of his fights on um, on YouTube. Um, but he's won three fights in a row. So as, as the competition has gotten several, he's gone the distance. So my guess is this is going to go the distance as well. Um, you know, early in his fight, or early in his first, you know, 11 of his first 12 fights were knockouts. Um and as the competition's gotten stiffer, he, he's gone the distance. Uh, he's heavy on the front foot. He's not really what you'd expect, right? Uh, he, he, he's kind of conservative with his punch output. In, in a lot of ways, he's a one-fisted fighter with his jab hand. I, I'd like to see if he's a natural southpaw. Uh, he jabs and hooks a lot. He, he The right hand is thrown not frequently enough. He's tentative to throw it. Um, he can fight on the inside, and he can fight going backwards, but he, he prefers to fight going forward. But he doesn't throw a lot, and he's tall and rangy. So I'm saying he, he he's kind of an enigma. He's got a really good jab. He's got a snappy jab that he throws, uh, but the power shots are few and far between. I don't see a tremendous upside on him. He doesn't seem to have a lot of power. From the two fights I've watched of him, he doesn't seem to have a ton of power. Um, and on, 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 um, you know, and, and that's bearing out with it, yeah, not getting stoppages, um, as he's moved up in, in competition. If he's going to win this fight, he's going to have to keep Cardenas at range. Cardenas is kind of an in-between guy. Cardenas can find the inside, he can find the outside, not exactly sure what, you know, his strength is. Um, uh, Ramon Cardenas is a guy I, I, I'm very familiar with. Um, uh, he's from San Antonio. I, I know him quite well being from Texas. I've seen him fight a lot. Um. He's good. I would say he's got the best win of the lot, the win over Banquez, I would say, on Showtime, uh, would be the best win of the night, uh, of, of either fighter. So I, I don't necessarily think Pedroza is, is the, you know, more tested fighter. I, I would say Cardenas is. I would say Cardenas is more versatile, um, although they both have versatility to some degree. Uh, Cardenas is going to have to be busy. Uh, he's going to have to outwork Pedroza. He's going to have to get on the inside and force the fight to Pedroza. He's going to have to try to make Pedroza uncomfortable, stop him from coming forward, get in and outwork him. Um, you know, 
Cardenas got outthrown in, in in the fight with Banquez. Um, but you know, he landed the cleaner, more effective shots, and he won the decision, a close competitive decision with Banquez. I, I, I thought he wasn't trying to have any beef with the decision. I thought he won the fight. Uh, but he's gonna have to let the hands go more. He's gonna have to make him uncomfortable. I'd like to see him try to get to Pedroza's body. Um, if Pedroza can't keep Cardenas off of him, then then that's where that's where the fight's gonna be for Cardenas. I, I do wanna see uh because look, Cardenas gets hit. He gets hit a little bit too much sometimes. He, he, he's Cardenas is the better athlete. Uh, I think he's better on the inside. I, I think Pedroza has the better jab, and I think uh, Pedroza is obviously taller and longer. So I, I think you know that the styles. I, I think Cardenas is going to have to get on the inside and work, and Pedroza is going to try to keep the fight uh, uh, on the outside and and and, and keep um, maintain the range with Cardenas. Um, Again, he's super hesitant to throw the right hand. So if you're asking me to handicap this fight, I'm kind of leaning towards um, Cardenas to pull the upset. We're going to share this screen right now. Rafael Pedraza, a fairly prohibitive favorite. He's a minus 300 favorite, while Cardenas is getting plus 225. So my bet here. Is a one-time bet on Cardenas. There's no other line to this fight, but I, I I think Cardenas is the right bet here. I do. I think Cardenas. I think these odds better than two to one uh, in favor of Cardenas is uh, is way offline. I think Cardenas wins the fight. I think Cardenas is the better fighter. I think he's the more tested fighter. I think he's more versatile. I think there's more ways that he can win this fight. He just needs to let his hands go. Um. And, and, you know, again, this is what I mean. This is how we can bring down the house together. Uh, Pedroza is not what he's cracked up to be. It doesn't seem like. You know, I know his knockout ratio is good. He doesn't seem to be a hitter. He doesn't let his hands go. He's basically a one-handed jabber. Um, and, and Cardenas is a two-fisted fighter. He's athletic. Um, he moves well. He can slot, slip punches. He can work his way out of the inside. He's got to just let his hands, if he lets his hands go on the inside, he wins. Uh, so I'm excited. To, I'm, I'm excited in seeing this. Um, I think it's a good fight. Um, it's the main event on a uh, Friday night showbox card live in San Antonio, and you know, keep that in mind. Cardenas, the hometown fighter in San Antonio. I haven't seen the judges, but we know Texas judges like Texas fighters. So I, I, to me, everything lines up in, in the favor of Cardenas. I, I, I like Cardenas to pull the upset here, and, and, and these are the type of cards that we can bring down the house together on, right? We have other cards where look, you, you take the money as you can get it, you make a little, a little profit here, a little profit there. But on fights like this, you know, this is a good bet. You know, a hundred dollar bet makes you two twenty five on Cardenas. Um, if you want to go one and a half times. A hundred fifty dollar bet makes you three hundred eighty-seven fifty. Walk away with your hundred plus three eighty-seven fifty. It's four eighty-seven fifty. It's it's worth it. Um, it, it, this is a good bet for Cardenas. Um, I I, I think I, I love the fight. There's no props on this, but I, I would bet him to go the distance. I, I my my bet. If you can find props on this, uh, I would say Cardenas uh, by decision. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, so we can teach you to bring down the house, how to make money on, on, on betting boxing. Again, I don't bet. I haven't bet. You can't even place this bet in my state of Texas. Uh, you can't bet in Texas on uh, sports on the web. Um, so uh, this is just free advice. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene as well um, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. It is September 13th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.